I'm Monica with Close to My Heart, and today I'm going to show you how to make this adorable paper flower I made with our Charlotte paper packet. Let's get started. Let's take our first Cricut Cut Heart, and I'm going to measure right down the center here. I've got my ruler, and using a bone folder, I'm going to score right down the center. So simple. I'll fold the heart over so that I've got that score line right there. It makes it so much easier. Now I'm going to take the bone folder and just kind of gently put some pressure, slide it across to help that roll over and curl. So here I'll show you again the ruler and the bone folder down the center. I've scored it, now we're folding it, and then we're going to take the edge of the bone folder and by lifting up my paper I'm making that curl down on the edges and that's going to give my flower petals shape. Okay, here we've got the little droplet shape, you can see, so we're going to curl those. It's the same exact technique we just did with the hearts. I'm just using the edge of it and then folding my paper up as I rub that down on the side and it comes up in a beautiful soft curl. So simple to do. And it's going to make the petals just really come out of our flower. So I'll do that with each piece. And you can see it's kind of like therapeutic. It's just so easy to do. So you just take that edge, you just pull that paper up. Now I've got some washi tape and I'm gonna use the, right here I'm using the Limeade washi tape. And I'm going to put that around my skewer so that my skewer looks like a stem. So the Limeade is a perfect color match of that. So I'll just keep wrapping that around. There you can see. Now we're taking the center, one of the droplets and curling it over and we're going to attach it. I've just got some simple tape here and we're going to attach that to my skewer. And this is going to be the center of my flower. So I've just rolled it all over. I'm going to secure that with some simple tape here and you can see how it all just kind of rolls into itself. So you just want to make sure that you've secured it onto your skewer. Now we're going to add the rest of the drop shapes to help create the center of the flower. So it's really easy, and then you want to make sure you roll out that curl that you've made so that it's curling outward. And so I'll just add some more scotch tape to secure it. Very, very easy. And that's really what you're doing. You're just layering and layering on top of it. So once we've done all the droplet shapes, we're going to get the heart shape, and that's going to give it the real shape of the flower that we're looking for. So I'm using my scrapbook adhesive on this one, and again, you're just securing it with your hand as you're putting it there. So just play around with it. Be careful to not fold the paper over too much or it will tear. But I think it really just adds to the character of the flower. So no flowers are the same, but you can see how layering the hearts, adding it with scrapbook adhesive, and you can see how um, nice that's going to come together. So it's okay if you don't worry about the centers, that doesn't need to look super pretty because you're just gonna, the flower's gonna just keep building upon itself. So yeah, you just keep adding it. So you raise each row as you go. So it's just kind of a really fun paper project, I think. It's really, really cool. So here we've got the adhesive down the center, around the sides, and then we're getting ready to be near the end. Look how this is all coming together. So easy to put together. So just kind of bend it over, make sure that they're covering each other up that way. Now we've got the Cricut Cut leaves and it's the same technique. You're just going to be putting adhesive and then just adding them to the edges of those heart petals that you've put on. Just kind of make sure that it's secured there really well. And we're almost finished. Look at that, isn't that so cool? This flower could work as home decor, party decor, or it could be given as a gift. Talk to your independent consultant on how you can purchase the paper and items I've used today or go to close to my heart .com to find one in your area.